So when I read the Bible, I'm looking where I can partner with God. So I can say, do it again, God. And the ladies need her babies. God can do it again. And the ladies looking for a husband and a man looking for a woman, uh, a wife. God can do it again. And the person have a wayward child that needs to come home and follow the Lord. God can do it again. And the person has a spouse that don't know Jesus yet. God can do it again. You see what I'm saying? And so when we hear testimonies, it activates. I can't explain it, but supernaturally, pretend like there's a portal right here. Where there's heaven and there's earth. And the supernatural or the unseen steps on what's unseen and changes everything around us. With that being said, we got a testimony to hear. Adrian Fernandez, Amen. come up here, brother. Amen. <laughs> I try to set it up. I try to set it up. Yeah, this, is, this is brother Adrian Fernandez. Amen. He's the number one watchmaker in Cayman. <laughs> Even if you're not, you are to me. And at the end, you gotta fix my watch time, okay? Praise <laughs> God. So give it up for him. Um, how I know um, Adrian is that we met years ago at a retail place where we worked, and. Um, I think he, he followed us on Facebook, reached out, we had a little conversation, and we've been journeying since then. Him and his wife and Pedal, Pedal has gone in the, um, his wife is Jesse, Pedal's in the back there. They may come in frequently. And just, when the more he shared about what God has freed him from in his journey of faith, you guys gotta hear it. So give him five or six minutes, full of attention. God bless him. Hi, church. I'm a little bit nervous to share my, my testimony, but I'm sharing it for the glory of God. How he refined me from my life, from my past life, and uh, how he gave me a new life. So it all started from my childhood when my uh, my parents uh, sent me to a boarding school. I was away from my parents, and this actually gave me so much pain in my heart. I was away from my best friends. I didn't get like enough freedom or attention. So this, I used to cry sometimes alone. And this gave me so much pain and grudge in my heart. I was always a rough kid. And at school, I, I used to fight with other kids, hit them very bad, uh, throw stuff. I went to a Catholic school. I, I came from uh, a Catholic background, uh, a strong Catholic family. So we have priests, we have nuns in the family. And we never read the word of God. We have Bible at home, but we never followed the word of God. We always follow the church. And I'm sorry, I'm not uh, here to offend any religion. I'm just want sharing my my personal uh, story. So we used to go to church, pray, come home, or come go back to uh, the school boarding, uh, fight this that. Always, I was a very bad kid. Always. And then when I uh, came into my uh, uh, teenage, still the same thing, but it got it got worse. I started drinking at the age of let's say 13. I started with wine, beers, then ended up in hard liquor. Started smoking when I was 15. Really bad. And uh, it just went on like that. And uh, uh, other bad stuff happened in my life. Bad things, really bad things. And I don't know why I, I cannot come up in my life or why I couldn't change myself. I, I cried to God, I go to church, but somewhere in my heart I had this this calling from my God, and I was praying, God, why can't I change myself? I pray to you, I go to church, I take communion, but still, why am I doing all this bad stuff? I didn't have an answer. I went to so many churches and no one could change me. And then I became an, an, an adult. I got married with my wife. Uh, we are married for 13 years now. Uh, I came to Cayman in 2012 for Amsterdam, but you know, Amsterdam Holland is more open for drugs and all kind of things. So I started clubbing, drinking, again the bad things. It was just going on like that. And my kid was born and uh, I was getting angry for small, small things. I used to break phones, I was arguing with my wife. And one day, my kid was two years old, I was holding her and my wife was upstairs. She started crying and that gave me so much anger. I don't know what happened. Suddenly I threw my kid. I threw it to the couch. My wife didn't know that. And then I went up after that. I was thinking, why this thing is happening with me? Why can't I control my anger? There should be an end for this. And then we, we came to Cayman in 2012. Still, it was going like that. Then I spoke to one of my friends and he showed me some videos of uh, uh, deliverance about delivering people, how Satan is, uh, Satan can be connected with your life. 
So I saw a few videos and then I was interested at that, but still I didn't believe in that because I didn't believe who Jesus was. I was always uh, searching for the real God because there are so many gods in this world. So I didn't really believe who, who Jesus was. But then I saw a few videos and I, I told my friend, okay, I want to try this because I want to change myself and I can't. And then that year I went to India and I went for this uh, prayer. So before the prayer, they asked me, why do you want to get deliverance? So I told my, my bad uh, habits. I told I want to get away from all these things. So they, they gave me, uh, they told me how you have to maintain your deliverance. After your deliverance, you can't go back to your old life because then the enemy will come back to you and you will be in the worst state in your life. And then they delivered me and then they caught 17 evil spirits from me. 17 demons which was controlling my life. Anger, spirit of uh, alcohol, this, that. And after the deliverance prayer, I, I was a new person. I didn't know. I had so much life for Christ, uh, so much love for Christ. I came home and I started crying and that time I opened the Bible, nobody was there and I could feel somebody was there in my room, that was the Holy Spirit. From that day, I started loving Jesus. Amen. I came back. Amen. I told my story to my wife and then I was, I was asking God how about love and all these things and God showed me crucifixion. I saw the crucifixion of my daughter. She was six years old. I saw her crucified on the, on the cross. She was bleeding. She was being raped. And then God showed me. He gave us only son because of you. For my sins, he was crucified. He was the king, but I gave for your sins. That changed my life. I saw crucifixion, my or I saw my, my daughter bleeding and I died broke my heart. I saw the crucifixion of Jesus and then I understood the love of the Father. Amen. Then I started praying to the Holy Spirit. I didn't go for any Bible study but I started praying at home sitting and then I can feel the Holy Spirit coming to me. Sometimes at night he will wake me up. I feel lazy to wake up at 3 o'clock because that's a spiritual warfare time. Sometimes I go back to sleep and he will give me electric shock in my body to get up. And from, I, I never chose God. God chose me. Amen. It changed me. It changed my family. She, my wife was a strong Catholic. I didn't, I never thought she would change herself. But then I started reading the scripture. And then I understood what I was following in the church is completely against the will of God. I stopped going to, to other churches. I didn't know God was spirit. I started praying in the spirit. I started, God showed me about my authority in Christ. How can I use the blood? How can I use the name? Amen. So from that time, I'm Amen. victorious. I'm walking in victory. Amen. I plead the blood before I go out. I plead the blood on my children. I plead the blood on the car. I plead the blood on the job. I cover everything with the blood of Jesus. That enemy can, can do anything now. Because whenever you see me or my stuff, he can see the blood. Amen. And God showed me that. Amen. To pray with the, in, the name, in the name of Jesus. The power, so much power in the name of Jesus. I started listening to other other things in youtube and then i got it with this uh, ministry i started sharing my testimony with pastor felix and i was always shy to share my testimony but now i just want to, I want to know what god has done in me if you want to be victorious you need jesus Amen. because you don't know how the enemy will steal your stuff you know you, you, the enemy can steal your job your money your your peace everything now I'm proud that I'm walking with him and he is the real God because I was believing in UFOs and science and all those things before aliens and then I had so much questions in my heart like who is the real God is, is this the real God or somebody else about us and God showed me that like things are hidden in the Bible he showed me all the mysteries from the Bible and whatever answer the question I had in me God showed me everything and I'm serving the right God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Amen. Spirit. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.